Yeah. But what do you think makes it so big? Like, what do they get right? Because I'm trying to start at Limpopo July. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's do- ah, that's dope. Limpopo July. <laughs> Limpopo July. Instead of horse racing, it's in the air broom racing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Limpopo. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Yo, keep Limpopo out your fucking mouth. You put Limpopo in our fucking mouth. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, yeah. podcast and chill finally has a sponsor! Sponsor! Yeah! yeah. 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 Uh, big shout out to Bybit, the cryptocurrency trading platform, the best one in the world, is finally sponsoring the podcast, man. Wow, that is that is so perfect. Yeah, man. The right perfect sponsor. It lives online. Yeah. It changes. It, it challenges the norm as yeah. we see cryptocurrency has done. Yeah, uh-huh. it's beautiful. It's the perfect marriage. And it's an international company, so when shit hits the fan, they're not gonna cancel us. Yeah, who you gonna send an email now, motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> who you gonna send an email now? <laughs> Uh, so if you want to buy, sell, trade in crypto, make sure you get buy bit. Uh, we've got a, a, a link. Uh, we've got a, an affiliate link in the description below. Dope. So we've got some cool prizes and some cool bonuses and special things happening. Just click on that. And we about to embark on the uh, cryptocurrency uh, oh, yeah. sphere. Yeah? yeah, it's about time. You don't want to be caught behind with a pie. We're pioneering podcasting online. Might as well pioneer. Um, you know, don't miss the wagon yeah, yeah, yeah. when it comes to this. So are they paying us in, in Bitcoin? Yeah, they wanted to. That would be so dope. And what you said no. I don't have Bitcoin yet. You just need a, a, a wallet, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. A, a Bybit wallet. And yeah. then they pay into that. Yeah, so we're going to sort it out. We've got a new uh, uh, segment coming out with uh, Gray. Uh, for anybody Great that wants, to, yeah. So for anybody that wants to get into crypto, make sure you watch out. Our new uh, segment is coming out because me and Saul are getting into crypto like seriously. Yeah, exactly. And you'll just help us, you know. Yeah. Clear the gray areas. Yeah. So that we embark <laughs> on this journey with full information and we're equipped with the knowledge. Hundred percent. And I care so about it, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to it. We are back, podcast and chill. Uh, our our yeah. our fact checker has been promoted to the. Coast lady, Pagama, fact check, catch a fee. We know you've been eyeing this job. Yeah, yeah, we know you've been wanting Kanye's job. We know. Never days. Are you into crypto? Ah, no, I'm not into crypto. Why not? You need quite a bit of money to get into crypto, no. don't you? Don't. That's a, you see, that's you a misconception. Ah, yeah. Those are the kind of misconceptions we're going to be... Uh, so uh, uh, your segments uh, are going to educate me. Educating then. people yeah. about it. Yes. Yes. You need 50 bucks. Even 50 bucks, you can get crypto. Oh. That's a 50 bucks. Yeah, you got 50 bucks. Of course yeah. I We do. pay you well, right? You do pay me. <laughs> well, we'll discuss at a later stage. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> anyway, big shout out to everybody that came through to the Chillers Market All Black Party. My word. Oh, crazy. Crazy, nuts, epic, all the adjectives you can find under the sun, they were there. I think it was probably the best part we've ever had on yeah, the podcast yeah, definitely. Network. Yeah, definitely the, the biggest success. Mm. Uh, even the venue was a bit small yeah, in hindsight. That's the thing, bro. We don't know how big this podcast is until you actually do an event like that and you yes. realize, oh shit, this space is small. It's bigger now, yeah. people came out in numbers. There was so much love. Crazy. It was just a love fest, bro. People flew in. Yeah. From Lesotho, from Botswana. Botswana there was Swaziland. a guy. Swaziland. Swaziland. I hope there's a guy. I hope he's safe. There's a guy who kept on going around with his fancy phone showing everybody pictures he took with us yeah. saying, I flew in. I'm all alone. I'm from Swaziland and I'm just all alone I came here for this party yeah. in the heart of Joburg yeah. and I'm like this guy <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's Swazi he doesn't know you know so I hope you and your phone are fine and you are still together what was the highlight for you for the party the highlight mm. 
Oh man, so many moments. Mm. So many beautiful moments, bro. Mm. Sir Trill killed it. Sir Trill killed Kosazana. it. Kosazana. Sir Trill's performance for me was the highlight. Mm. Um, definitely. And then the favorite DJ sets was um, Mac Lopez. Yeah. He, the one who did that song that Munada took of yours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He had a guy playing the keyboard. It was amazing. It was just so beautiful, man. Yeah. Crazy part. Everybody was looking for the Fed Checker, but you came late. Oh, I arrived just in time. <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was crazy. The love was insane. Mm. Um, the podcast really has a big family of people who loves and adores and follows you guys religiously. And it was really amazing just to be in and amongst those people and having conversations as well. The music was insane. Mm. The entire party was being filmed. It was just a beautiful production through and through. Yeah, man. And guess what? On the 7th of August, we're hitting Botswana. Oh, damn, dope. A party? Yeah. yeah, we're doing our first brunch there in Botswana. Damn, so we're going to podcast us there. Yeah. We're going to podcast as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, amazing. Can't yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. Botswana, Khaberoni, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Botswana's got mad love for us, man. Last time, last time I was there, I had so much fun. I know you've been there as well. Yeah, I've been there as well. Botswana's fun. It's genuine. There's no crime. Everybody uses an iPhone there. You don't have to worry about <laughs> anything. <laughs> Not legit though. <laughs> Everybody in Botswana, well, the parts we were at, obviously, you know, there's the poor part as well. But yo, there was everyone uses an iPhone. It may not be the latest, but everyone is uses an iPhone in Botswana. Yeah. And the crime is zilch. You don't have to worry about crime. You don't have to worry about rolling up your window at an intersection in the CBD of Botswana. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so big shout out to Botswana. We're Come coming on. out there on the 7th of August. August! Save the day. Mesh, save the fucking date. 7th of August, all right? Eh? Botswana! 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 Hey, dog, so let's start the show, man. How was yeah. your first day at Kaya? My first day at Kaya was amazing. It was beautiful, bro. Yeah. The love was in incredible. It was amazing. We did a show, but I was not in studio for the show. It was an introductory show. You know, they are very light, but the energy was there. And I think it set, it, it set the tone for the energy that we're going to be bringing in the morning, which is energy. Dini has energy. I have energy. I'm a morning person. Yeah. And that's it, man. You know? How was social media? Did they love it? Oh, yeah. It trended. 959 oh, Breakfast. Nice, that's, nice. that's the name of the show. It trended. Uh, they loved it. Mm. Uh, they, they loved the vibe. You mm. know, obviously, it didn't have a lot of meat. Eat, but they love the vibe. Yeah, but you can never judge a radio show from the first show. No, it's like a kid. When a kid is born. Funny enough, last week I found a picture of um, me holding my newborn. You can put it here. And um, she looks nothing like she did on oh, day one. Oh, yeah, yes, right? yes, so yes, 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 yes. Shows generally are like, especially radio shows. Even any show, like you go to Joe Rogan's first podcast, mm. you go to this first show, show, show the first, first one ever. Hey, it was trash, the mics were off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it, it, it changes, you know? Yeah. It, 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 it will change, but that's why I, I, I said the energy and the vibe of the show will be like that. Jolly, happy, energetic in the morning. Were you nervous? Of course, of course, of course, bro. Yeah. Of course, dog. Yeah, I yeah. mean, of course. <laughs> nerves are there, but those are good nerves. You what know? was your first leg? What did you say your first leg? I forgot. It was just like, in, hey, hey, we're here. Yeah, cool, cool. And then we did the whole uh, uh, McDonald's thing in the first link. So I think the proper first link is going to be um, on Monday. Yeah, fuck, man. Because I remember the night before, because lady, I tried to call Saul at like 11 because I was drunk and I had an idea. I'm like, let me call Saul. I'm like, oh, shit. Niggas got a 9 to 5 now, fuck. I forgot. Well, not a 9 to 5. <laughs> a 9 5 9. <laughs> But technically, a six to nine. <laughs> you know? I heard him mention that he was nervous about sleeping the night before he and Dino were actually having an exchange. Oh, yeah, yeah. On the radio First show, thing. and they were saying they were just full of, they were buzz with energy and they just couldn't sleep. But he actually, you bashed it. You did an exceptional job. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm bogot. You and Dino. Shout out, Dino. I Oh, I love Dino, man. Dino is my yeah, you favorite. You guys are buddies. You guys yeah. are friends. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I hope you're still friends. Yeah. Are you there for more for, for, for Devin? July? No, I don't. Mm. Never had FOMO for Durban July. I don't think I ever will have FOMO for Durban July. Have you July. been to Durban July? No, I've never. You've been. never? No. You lost. I've never. Dog, you gotta do Even it. You know, like one. the stations that we work for, you know, it's like, ah, there's no point. I'm like, I'm grand. I'm not going. Mm. The last time I was at the Durban July was when that car burnt. It was a friend of mine. Oh, damn, the C63. Yeah, I was the guy there. Who the C63. Yeah, I was there. 
We watched it burn. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on here? Upap. Yeah. That guy, there was no Zippo. Name. Zippo, yeah. That's his, his name, name was Zippo. Yeah. His, his name was, no, his name is. Oh, his name is Zippo. I thought he changed it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I would change it if I embarrass myself on a national platform like that. No, I'd but he's, my he's name. a rich kid, man. Like, it was one of his many cars. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. Thank goodness. And, and, and uh, do you have formal for Durban July? I don't have FOMO for Durban July. I have FOMO for the money that's made at Durban July. Mm. See, if you're going to Durban July, you can't just go there for vibes. You have to go there to hustle because, you know, a lot of brands hustling. and Ninety percent of people are going for the vibe, though. <laughs> No, there's a small margin, let's say about 60%, no, 40% that are going for vibes. But there are people there who are there to make money. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. Host are, the, I wouldn't say it's 40% of everyone there. You I mean, wouldn't? it's DJs, hostesses, and those selling pussy. But generally, not a lot of people are I mean, are and there. that's business as well. I should actually spend. include them in that percentage. Yeah, they got to make actually, money, bro. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. they're not 40% of the population in Durban that comes to Durban or even that are there. It's Enjoy mostly it's mostly weekend. Joburg people. Yeah, and a lot of them are spending the money. Let's be honest, bro. Mm. We know when we were growing up, there would be people organizing buses and trips. Some friendship circles would save like a thousand rands every month till uh, uh, July, and they've got like six grand. They pull it together. It's sixty k. And they travel and they go spend the money and enjoy. And absolutely nothing wrong with that also. Yeah. But what do you think makes it so big? Like, what do they get right? Because I'm trying to start at Limpopo July. <laughs> it's, that's, do- oh, that's dope. Limpopo July. <laughs> Limpopo Instead July. Instead of horse racing, it's in the air broom racing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love that. <laughs> no, keep Limbobo out your fucking mouth. You put Limbobo in our fucking mouth. <laughs> Pooh, we spit it out. <laughs> I love that Limbobo July. Because no one even cares about the horses, bro. No, no, it's not a, people don't even know the horses. Like, no one knows, like, the horse trainers. No one knows. If you ask a regular person who Smart Kumalo is or Muzieni, mm. they don't know those guys. And those are the jockeys and stuff. No one knows those guys. They don't care. Yeah, because we're meant to be out at Durban July this weekend. Mm. Uh, but um, we we're going to broadcast at some marquee, but that fell through. And then we had other gigs, so we decided just to stay and, and yeah. do gigs in, 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 in Joburg. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking about gigs, yeah. I was playing after Heavy K last night. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and Richard, and Richard. How did that go? How was that? Nah, it go? was all love, man. Oh, he played after me, but it was all love, man. Oh, you interacted? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How was the interaction? No, it was cool because like he came 30 minutes before uh, I played. Mm. And then when it was time for the changeover because he was playing after me, I saw all the phones come out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nah, ready for action. Yeah. Like, dun, 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 dun. And the promoter did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. What did you guys say to him? I want to know the dialogue. Uh, I was like, he was like, hey, where na? Kulumi kaka. And I was like, Tete kaka. 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 Donovan Goliath. Oh, Donovan Goliath. Yeah, yeah. Then it'll make sense. <laughs> tie tie the numbers together. <laughs> oh wow! Hey, 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 you make it trust me. Hey, 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 hey. So both of you were dropping a number last night. Uh, you're dropping a number, then we charge. Yeah. <laughs> ah, but it was dope, man. It was yeah, dope. dope, man. Bro, so white people are in outrage. I don't know if you saw this, man. But white people are always in outrage. So you know the Woolies. Shopping bags, mm-hmm. yeah, because they didn't use plastic anymore. Yes, to for the environment and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same so, motherfuckers making us drink from straws. Yeah, huh? I mean paper straws. Yeah, same shit. Like saving the environment. Oh, they, is it? They they're making us drink straws. from paper straws. Yeah, yeah. Even the lids now are paper. Is like it? for coffee? It's disgusting. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So you know those bags that yes. I'm talking about? I know the black the ones. Bags, yeah. yeah. So you pay uh seven bucks. For that bag, right? Okay, cool. And then uh, y- they said that, like, when you shop, you must bring it all the time. <laughs> so people forget the bags at home because, like, when you're shopping, it's in- impromptu. Sometimes you you from work. Sometimes yeah. you from. And you're not gonna think about that fucking bag. Yeah. Uh, aside. No, like a side hustle. <laughs> and then you go and you buy, you buy like groceries. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. remember, oh, yeah. avocados and, yeah. and cabbage or whatever. So those bags started piling up at people's houses. 
And they started complaining and saying, guys, like, this is too much now. Can we just not go back to the plastic thing? And then uh, Wooly said, okay, no, it's fine. Bring the bags back and we'll recycle them for free. So people are not, uh, now are like, what about the seven rand that I spent? Because after you bring it back for free, you still need to buy another one for seven rand. So why people are in arms? They're like, no, we can't do this. Why people must relax, man? <laughs> like, I don't get it, man. <laughs> Been keeping plastic bags in a drawer. Tell white people must dedicate a drawer, you know, for the bags <laughs> under the kitchen. Normally, the sink. Normally, that's where you can put your things. Like, why are they complaining though? I mean, no, they, 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 gonna, they started it. They started this whole save the environment nonsense. No, but they, they got a point. Though you can't spend seven rand for a bag and then bring it back for free. At least give me something, some compensation. Well, if you bring it back to return it, and then you buy groceries and you buy another one, why can't we just keep it on you and use it to? pack up groceries why doesn't Woolworths create a reward system for when you bring back your 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 your, your shopping bag you get some sort of rewards and discounts and whatever the, ah, the heck God. they sell oh, that's why we love you and Bok oh, I mean, yeah. you just solved the problem people for giving you back their bags that they paid for or people can just put their bags in the boot it's such a simple thing you no, pack exactly. the groceries you pack the bag up and you put it in the boot and you keep it in there Simple. But you know what happened? There was probably someone at Woolies, like a Mariki, uh, in the board meeting, who As stood up and like, I got it. I know the solution. <laughs> you know, there's always a white lady who, yes. thinks, they can <laughs> who thinks they can save the world. <laughs> K-pop Mariki. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, what did you think about um, the 21 teenagers that died at uh, Enyobeni Tavern? Enyobeni. Enyobeni, yeah. Hey man, I, what does Enyobini, before we get into what does Enyobini mean? Well, in Kosa is to, is to bribe, but in Joburg language is to smash. No, 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 that, that's Ugnyoba. Ugnyoba. That's Ugnyoba. Well, I, I don't know Enyobeni as a place, is, yeah, is, is but Ugnyoba is to bribe. Yes, as yes, a place, that, I don't that know. That I know. How, yeah, I don't know as but, a place. So is Enyobeni the same context as as? I don't know what it means in bribing. that context. Oh, context. you don't? Yeah, I don't know. Lapiro. I don't know why, why they, they named it like that. Yeah, man. First, the it's name weird. is strange. Yeah. Like, By the way, Lapiro is... Uh, 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 Aya's uh, friend. Uh, slash no, Lapiro. Aya's Capella. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is Aya's that? handbag. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's sort of saying Ice Boy at this, at this moment. Aye, Lapiro, he wants to get there. Lapiro owns Big Fun Music. What the fuck Yeah, they're mean? both co-directors. They're partners. The fuck? <laughs> That's the famous one, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you don't know also what Enyo Ben. It's just a name. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't oh, mean no. anything. It's too new about surprise. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just Enyo Ben. Oh, okay. The place called Emuyin. 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 Okay. Okay. So it's just a name. Oh, okay, cool. That was tragic, bro. Yeah. That was tragic. And what? The, the youngest is 13. Fact checker. Oldest mm, is 13, 14. Yes. Oldest is 17. Mm. Yes. That's madness. Like, look, man, I know kids will be kids, right? And I know that parents you can never have 100% of where kids go because kids lie. Like, we want to go sleep over at Saul's place and then True. we go out to have fun. You know what I mean? Mm. But I'm pretty sure that's not the case for all those kids. Some of it was just bad parenting. The one parent said her 14 year old, she knew something was amiss when she didn't knock on the door at 3 a.m. or the early hours of the morning. Go, go, go. Spoony soft life. <laughs> <laughs> How does that song go? <laughs> go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Si vu le le. Si ningas fale linga pan. Si na si fu ni so fla. So fla. So fla. I love that song. It is called Engaga. Yes, you are saying so. Yeah, so let me know irresponsible parenting also. I got to go to the hangout tree. She didn't knock. Like, no, no. You know? Yeah. Like a parent is expecting their kid. Obviously, now they've left the food in the microwave and they expected <laughs> the kid to knock. A 14 year old. But in the hood, that's a norm, though. It's not a norm. I grew, up, I grew up in the hood. Yeah, we, we I used grew to, up a full slow. That's we, not a norm. We used to come back at that time also. From, from like 13 till forever. People when you say we, hey, you and Lapiro. <laughs> Wait, so was it, is, is... That's, how, that's, why, I, I, that's why now he's flying out to Cape Town. His son is celebrating his 21st. <laughs> yeah, that's why nigga had a kid in his teens. Right? Nigga had a kid in his teens. Why she wants to shoot your head, guys? 
It's a wrong norm. It's a, wrong a, lot norm. Norm a, a, lot, a lot of wrong things that happen in the hood, and they acted as, as it's a norm. So what are you saying? In the hood, uh, niggas are going out at twelve, thirteen. Yeah, we go out at, at, at that age up. What but, grade is but it? But it depends. I know, I'll understand better by it's grade. That's grade seven. Grade seven. seven. Yeah, yeah grade seven. seven. Yeah. Oh yeah, but we if did that as well. You're, you're starting the what, your stuff. You were playing games. Yeah, you're, you're going to um, where you connect to computers with your white friends, <laughs> and you're boy. in a network, and you're playing games. What do you call it? Land games. <laughs> land games, exactly. You see, yeah. you're playing land games. These guys were going out drinking. Like, and magic cards. And magic cards. Wow. Explain the magic cards, man. <laughs> Some of us, you know, grew up in the hood. Yeah. So what are magic cards? What, are, what the fuck? Yeah, what, what are magic cards? Oh, man, I played that long ago. I can't remember now. But it was dope, man. <laughs> it was like Pokemon. Did you have Pokemon cards? We had Pokemon. We had um, that stuff we'd find in chips, yeah. like Slammers from the 95 World Cup, Rugby World Cup. Yeah. We played Slammers and stuff. Um, and I know Tamagotchis as well. Tamagotchis. Remember Tamagotchis? Yes, I was about to go there. keep it alive, feed yes. the damn thing and stuff. Yes. But the, we experienced that in school, but we still went back Ikasi, and did this Kirikiri. Who knows Kirikiri? What's it's that? like a cart, a, a cart that you make, and then some push on an highway. That sounds like Focalistic's new single. It's Kiri Kiri. Kiri Kiri, Kiri Kiri. But uh, don't you miss those days, dog? No. Why? Because there was no internet. There was no no cool things, you know? No. Mm. They were nice, but I wouldn't say I miss them, bro. Mm. Honestly, genuinely wouldn't say I miss them. Um it's it's sad. Also, though, the kids now don't get to have a proper, proper childhood because yeah. of the internet. True. You know, your phones. They need a phone at eight at eight years old. That's why as Facebook much and stuff. as much as I hate load shedding, I love it at the same time. Because in those two hours I actually spend time with my son, I'm like Shit, yeah, dog. How was your day, bro? <laughs> you should get to know him, right? Because yeah. <laughs> there's no electricity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta find things to do. True. So we end up like playing chess and stuff like that. Yeah, but look, back to any of any dog. So I think the parents are also like most of the parents there. You know, I know it's not the time right now, but some of them it was just bad parenting. But then also, what happened? Because mm. I'm hearing the story that there was a stem, the owners tried to say there's a stampede, and obviously the post mortem say n no stampede. Okay. Then I thought there was something in the Hubley, right? But apparently now they were poisoned. There was a, ga the, uh, a gas, there were toxins found in their lungs. Oh, so they breathed in this gas. What so happened? the story is that um, one of the security guys, so there's one entrance to the tavern. Okay. One only. So all the kids go in, they start grooving, have hubbly, everything is great and wonderful. They pens These down. These 13 year olds having hubbly, bro. It, it, it was yeah, a pens bro. down. It was a pens down. Actually, the Daily Maverick has an amazing article out if you want to check it out. It dropped on the 26th of June. Yeah. Go and read it. Yeah. Um, so the kids go in there and I think it was getting rowdy and the ki there were children outside wanting to enter the venue and they were already at full capacity. Sure. So one of the security guys sprayed, um, I'd say pepper spray, but some sort of suffocating toxin into the air. Yeah. It's like pepper spray, but it burns your nose and suffocates. Yeah. So gradually from one of the eyewitness reports from one of the children who survived, apparently their peers were being were slumping over the seats and slowly dying Yo. and it was just horrific it was a horror movie damn and it made the world news you see of course mm. bro like we always make weird world news right? last time an article local one caught you know this much traction internationally was the 11 tembisa 11 mm. the bogus uh, 11 kids who were born at the same Someone, Someone evening. told me that it was a sacrifice. Oh, but twelve. Mm. Like, twelve, yeah. Sometimes people buy twelve, like taxi owners, you find like they would maybe like make the brakes fail or whatever, temper with the brakes, and those who die there, then, you know, 
yes, sacrifices. I don't know the mechanics. Of, uh, I don't know the mechanics of it properly. Mm. But get yeah, too long about when they pass away, especially in a great number, like That's a crazy, couple, a group of people. Man. That's so evil, bro. It is, but it's the greed, right? People want money, and they're willing to do anything. So for you think money. this is what happened with this situation? It's not out of the realm of possibility. So, look. If you if people if you want to disperse people or get rid of people in your club, you don't spray stuff. Mm. You switch off the music. You turn on the lights. Mm, 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 and then it's awkward spraying mm. the You know what I mean? We we'll go home, all mm, of us. Mm, that's mm. how. That's what happened at, at our old black party, yes, right? When yes. it's time, you switch off the music, turn on the lights, and everybody goes home. No, Why I, you spray? We, you let Aya play. <laughs> Oh wow! Whoa! Whoa! whoa. You know that Shots uh, uh, fired! Uh, uh, Shots uh, uh, fired! Uh, uh, uh. You, this, you play, you you play way too long. Shots fired! You didn't want to get off the deck. Imagine like that. It's like that. Like I was, that. was having fun. Right, you want to be hogs? No, no, I'm kidding. Man, you're a good DJ. I'm kidding. I know. He's a great DJ. Um, you're saying transition card. It is. It is a common occurrence to have outdoor venues. I know, I know definitely in the township when you go to like an outdoor venue, say your PDL that doesn't have like maximum security and people have their ice buckets in summer, you'll have people who just walk by with a pepper spray just to disperse people from their tables as a way to steal from them as a um, hijacking, stealing maneuver. Oh, wow. So, it, so it, it does happen at um, establishments, but for this reason he had in your baby i don't think that was the case because the parents have been complaining constantly that the children of of this age group do frequently go to that venue and stay out till the wee hours of the morning uh-huh. past closing time so that venue is notorious for allowing underage drinking and very clandestine things to happen there. But this was obviously the final nail in the coffin. No, no, bro. Coffins. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes coffins. Thank you. Jeez, that's unheard of, man. Mm. I've never heard of something like that. That's this, bro. madness, bro. Mm. That is crazy. But like you said, the spray was sprayed by, by not like a, a thug mm. trying to rob people. By one of the bouncers, right? And the guy's been arrested now. And I think the liquor uh, board there obviously confiscated the license. Number one, they were un- uh, underage kids, you know, consuming, being sold alcohol. It's, just, it's a tragedy, man. You saw Peikele crying there. It got so emotional. Serious? Man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah even Peikele cried, bro. Yeah. But he was yeah. also quite insensitive about how he handled the situation because he cried initially and then he spoke about how irresponsible the parents were. And yes, yes, they are irresponsible, but you can't say that to people who are still identifying their children, whose children are missing, whose children are in ICU. Said to them, my son, who's at university at UCT, who's 21, came in at 11, which I think is high. Highly unlikely, please. He, he said, said what? He said, he said his son came in at 11 p.m. on some random day from Groove and he sat him down and told him that you don't do this in Johannesburg in South Africa. You have to behave orderly and your curfew is 10 p.m. Something along those lines, which I find very hard to believe if your child is... Um, your dad is Begitele and you study at UCT, you're probably out to like the wee hours of the morning. Mm. But... Overall, that was a very insensitive thing to say to parents when we understand that we have the scourge in our country of irresponsible parenting or parents delegating tasks to grannies and aunts and uncles and the whole entire mess in the black family structure. You can't say that to people when they've lost their children. Yeah, sure, exactly. Have you ever thought about broadcasting, bro? He speaks so well, so elegantly. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I told her this before. <laughs> I told you this before, didn't I? <laughs> you did, you did, you did. Yeah, I've, t- I've told her this before. You've never thought Kaya's about Kaya's my dream, but I need them to bring back Ken Zero because, yeah. Oh, no no like Ken Zero! Ken Zero is a legend. No Shout out to Ken Zero, man. Yeah. So you thought about broadcasting, Vel? Um, not so much, but yeah, I do enjoy talking a lot, so I wouldn't be a bad What are you studying? What are you studying? Um, I s- my undergraduate degree was in law and politics and media studies. And then my postgrad was completing my law. So, yeah, I've touched on a bit of everything overall. So what does that mean? You studied all those subjects? Yeah, and I passed them and it's written on my degree. Hey, he's showing his vocables. <laughs> <laughs> Concurrent. <laughs> yes, yes, actually, yes. yeah, yeah. Concurrently. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I can hold my own. I can hold my own. No, I didn't know LLP what it stood for last week. That's actually like a concurrent. <laughs> Hey, Mac. 
We're here, man. We're what, here. Did, what did you study? What did you study, so? I studied, uh, uh, studied um, BCom Finance. Ooh. Yeah, but before that, I did uh, BCom. Uh, no, uh, I did um, engineering, mechanical, and I dropped out because I was busy broadcasting at UJFM. Oh, yeah. Sure, yes. you're a geek geek. You should be like at R&B, investment banking. You should be at freaking Google. Damn, but you're pushing your passion and it's working for you. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's commendable, actually. Because there are yes. a lot of people who are, who are in a position where they do these higher grade things, such as myself, and then you find yourself down on the other side and then you have to start considering how to pivot and how to relearn yourself and find yourself and find your interest again. It's not an easy thing to do and I think... If a lot more people like you have those discussions as well, it'll take the burden off people who feel like I need to do mechanical engineering and then become suicidal after they've achieved. Yeah, but sometimes it's parents. You see, I was fortunate and unfortunate, but then again, even if my mom was alive when I was doing my first year, she would have said, "Aye, why are you studying engineering? You've been making 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 noise in the house since you're in grade nine on Fruity Loops making beats." You know, mm. uh, and and I've been pushing for you to do that. Mm. Why are you studying engineering? She actually would have spoken me out of studying engineering mm. or finance. Mm. You know, mm. but not a lot of people have parents like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like pay us back. We've invested so much in you. Pay us true, back. True. We don't care. Hey, pay us back. We don't care about this passion of yours. Pay mm. us back. Which right? one is mechanical engineering? Mechanical engineering. Yo, mechanical engineering is um, the one that deals with mechanics. There's mechanical, there's electronic engineering, there is the one of structure, civil engineering, civil, then there's yes. chemical engineering, which, f like, to make yeah. food and, yeah. Yeah. you know, chemicals yeah, detergents, and, yes, detergents, those kind of things. Mechanical is machinery. Oh. Mostly, and electronical engineering is what makes the phones. Mechanical engineering is what makes the cars. Oh, but there's also electronic engineering in there because there's electronics. Ah, oh, you would have done cool. well in that, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got the brains, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But I was I mean, busy doing radio and you know making music and sending slicker beats yeah. and all that bullshit. Do you think you're wasting your brain? No, not at all. Not at all. I think I'm not. No. Yeah. I'm very happy and I'm doing what I love. I'm very happy. Because if you're I'm a mechanical a engineer, you could change the world. I mean, with this shit, you can't change much. You can. How many people, how many suicides have we, have we, oh, yeah, have we stopped yeah, yeah, yeah. in the tracks? Yeah, Literally. Yeah. You've seen that? They want to kill themselves by train. Uh, have you seen that? Uh, <laughs> people, people are suicidal. <laughs> yes, there was... <laughs> you stop suicide in the tracks. <laughs> you know? Literally, no, literally. Uh, people hey, email Captain us. Saviour. Dark, eh? I need coaching, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I need coaching. I need coaching. <laughs> Serious coaching. Yeah, no, hey, I, I no one got that. It flew <laughs> over their heads, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, watch the show. You'll get it, man. <laughs> 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 hey, Mash is here. Hey, Mash. <laughs> to answer your question, I have been exposed to suicide. There were a lot. There were high suicide rates. I never asked you about suicide. During, <laughs> oh, no, you're a co-host. You, Go you on. You did. Now. You did. And I'm gonna say my piece. Thank you. Um, we were exposed to high suicide rates and varsity actually. Mind you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. No, this man, don't dark. make me laugh while you're talking this about suicide. Dark. That's come what I'm saying. It's dark. It's very come dark. Come on, come on. Um, yeah, there was, there was a dude actually in, Sa in Santon City about two weeks ago who actually wanted to jump off. Oh, I and remember that. And people were what? tweeting what about it. People were live tweeting about it. A, what happened? A, a guy in Santon City, the, the mall, wanted to commit suicide. Jeez. Middle mm -hmm. of the day, people were live tweeting about it. Luckily, they were able to save his life. There were many people, when I went to Varsity, who wanted to jump onto the M1 highway who literally killed themselves. I have a friend who lost a graduate. Um, she was a she was a biochemical um, scientist, and what she did was she concocted some sort of formula that would slowly poison her and kill her in the, in the space of three days, and and she passed on. So suicide is Damn. it's a scourge. It's a she scourge, a, bruh. Her own poison, bro. What the summa cum laude graduated was freaking brilliant. Of course. And obviously, you know, as a black person, they're gonna tell you, uh, let me give you a five thousand rand stipend as an intern, mm. which is absolutely ridiculous. Corporate South Africa. 
Mm. Um, they're gonna give you a five thousand rand stipend. You've had you, your bursary sponsored throughout. You have your family to support. You're looking at your peers in a di- completely different tax bracket, and obviously that's gonna drive you to suicide. Being that intelligent, so yeah, she she took her life unfortunately. I've wanted to commit suicide once. Damn, fam. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. I was in. Um, was it high school? Yeah, it must have been high school. Mm-hmm. Just bought a 3310. Oh. It was like the iPhone 13 Max yeah, of that yeah, time. Yeah, it's like a probably grade grade eight. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't have a SIM card. Mm-hmm. And then I went to school with it. And then um, during uh, PE, one of those niggas, you know those niggas from the hood, man. Hey, why are you niggas from the hood always stealing, man? Because <laughs> we have nothing, nigga. I take shit. offense yeah, to that okay. <laughs> on their behalf. Uh, so this nigga stole my 3310, bro. Oh, without damn. a SIM card. Shame. Went back home, told my mom, started crying, and we lived in a flat in Parktown. Yep, yeah. So I climbed to the top, <laughs> top, top. Jesus Christ. And I wanted to kill myself because I was like, I can't live without a 3310. Jesus, bro. Yeah. Why? Why did you go to school if you didn't have a SIM card? Why did you take? No, it I just school? wanted to show off. You oh, know? just to Bang show ball. off. Play snakes. Yeah. <laughs> Putsy, those ones don't even come yeah. on without without a SIM card. They don't even like come on. Jeez, bro. Sorry, man. That would have been a waste. Just for, but you're a kid. You know, it meant a lot to you. It meant a lot, dog. So what stopped you? Uh, from no, taking your life. I looked down. I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long way down. <laughs> <laughs> true story true story jeez bro crazy have you ever tried to commit suicide i haven't tried no I, I i think if i try i'd succeed you know what i mean like i know that i'd succeed like that student i know i'd find a, a way but i've never um never nah Cons- played around with the thought but didn't engage it enough to get that close to it being a reality mm. you know nah i've never nah, i've never been why did you play with the thought what is happening i just life was being was was being shit and uh, uh, you know gambling debt and stuff and but yeah, yeah you were going but, through a lot but bottom, bottom, bottom of my heart i knew that oh fuck but i'm to blame it's not like i'm a victim in this situation mm. you know what i mean yes i'll be it it's addiction and stuff mm. you are a you know, a, 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 a victim, but at the same time, it's like, well, I created all of this. It's fine. I'll be fine. You know, mm. oh, let me just go through the things. And yeah, yeah but it, it wasn't strong enough. The thoughts weren't strong enough. I, I didn't consider it like proper. I 10% considered it. You know, not like a hundred percent. I'm there now. I'm ready. You know what I mean? And then something. Hey, bro, you've me. been through a lot, eh? Yeah, yeah, I have. I have. I have. Shit. But hey, it's you know, I'm built for it. I think. Like yeah. I, I, I was. I couldn't go through it again. Yeah. Then I probably kill myself. I couldn't go through it again. Mm. I was young enough. I had the energy to go through it, and I went through it. Took it on the chin. Mm. Yeah. You, 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 you. I, have you ever tried to commit suicide? Not suicide, but I have thought of dying as a For good idea. Real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. guys, yes. <laughs> it's called hold on, suicidal you go on. ideation. You can't kill yourself, Lapiro. What's he going? <laughs> <laughs> Lapiro will be out of a job. <laughs> hey, Lapiro. <laughs> <laughs> You'll bring your eyes for the last time in the mortuary to put on your body. <laughs> but I get that fully. Actually, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Definitely, bro. Um, like things were not going well. I was in debt. Mm. I didn't have enough money. I thought if I die, uh, my family would get money from that. Yes. And they, they'll live softly. Because yes. I had things that go, 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 go. I, yeah, they they have a soft life. Because I have things that would pay out if if I die. Yeah, a lot of wild, men, man. a lot of men, actually toy around with that thought mm. of some toy around with the thought. I've had you know a couple of gents tell me this with the thought of killing themselves because of debts and kids. They're expensive. They go to Kuro and and and. But if they kill themselves, insurance won't pay out. Yeah. Mm. So they thought of things like driving off a bridge sure. as an ac- then it looks like an yeah. accident, mm. right? Crazy. So that the kids can be fine and they can be out of their misery oh. and the kids get t- taken care of. But I get you. Sometimes you know, you're not suicidal. Yeah. You just like I remember I got robbed while driving, 
right? Mm-hmm. And the guy smashed my window. And a part of me, I've told this story before, yeah. a part of me wished they could shoot. Mm-hmm. Wish they shot. Yes, yes, I remember I that remember, story. Yeah, part yeah. Of me, yeah. So, so, so it wasn't like suicide, but I was like, anything happened, you'll even disrespect Back the bouncer, you know, like, like yeah, do something, nigga, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hit me hard, yeah, you know? Is that all you have kind of thing? <laughs> yeah, but it comes from a very deep and dark yeah. place. But a lot of men are going through the most, bro. Hey, people are going through shit. The yeah. most, bro. Uh, pass the mic. Because uh, it's all niggas in here. Young young black people here. Uh, now, if you try to commit suicide? No, no, not, not really. But I will say of what I am saying, you know, um, an idea of saying... Ah, uh, it is what it is, man. You know, especially when you get to your early twenties, you know. But you're so young, man. Of course, of course, you know. Do you know what I was doing in your age? <laughs> wait, no, wait. Talking the girls. <laughs> <laughs> was that what you were going through when you were in the front lines of the Fismos Fall protests? That the, uh, anything can happen. I'm. I, I hate no, 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 not really. Oh, okay, no, cool. not really. Oh. But there are a lot of pressures that you face as a young man, you know. Especially maybe when you have the transition from high school to university, you know, mm. a lot of things, a lot of pressures just, you know, it comes a burden to you and like, yo, whatever. So right? Whatever. Yeah, this I is why. Give Lapiro the mic. Lapiro! <laughs> <laughs> Give Lapiro. Hey, the you're skipping Tati. Ah, uh, Tato doesn't, doesn't like, Tato doesn't like the mic, man. Well, Lapiro, yeah, Lapiro loves the mic. <laughs> Gotta make up some shit Serious person, Yeah, serious person, this one. Yeah, 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 I'm trying to, yo. Have you tried to commit suicide, like, dog? Yeah, man. For real? Yeah, um, it was 20, 2018. Damn. Yeah, 2018 December. I almost died twice. That same December. My place burnt down the week, like, early 19, 19, 20. Uh, the following week, which was Christmas, my sister made an accident with a car, and I was like next to her because she was like doing lessons. Mm. Mm. So I saw her once, like driving the truck, dropping like you know when you're driving when you're doing um, your le- your 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 lessons. Yeah, yeah. Then cool. you bring yeah. the truck back. So she was the one who was driving. So that's why I gave her the car. Mm. And then when she started the car, we just went in, bah, almost. Mm. And that same year, my son was a couple of months old, and I lost my job because I was a financial advisor. I couldn't do my work because I don't have a car anymore. Mm. And I almost did it, man. For <laughs> How did you want to do it? Yeah, I almost hanged myself. Damn, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, but the, the very same thing that saved me was my son because I kept thinking about him. What is he going to say? What is he, what is he going to think of me when he's 30, hey. when he's 20? Hey. Why did I give up? And as a person, I know that I don't give up. And that's so why if it wasn't even for your son, you would, probably would have done it, ne? Probably. Probably, I probably would have done it. And that's why even when I when I write music, it's difficult for me to do deep personal stuff because mm. I get into it. So I'd rather focus on the fun stuff and Sangue, just do the yeah, that, that, that energy. I would rather <laughs> focus on that. <laughs> or tear the roof off. <laughs> oh, but you wouldn't go there. You almost did it. Damn, bro. Just mesh. Mesh in the toilet somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Mesh, have you tried to commit suicide? I've thought about it, but Jeez, it just bro. doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah it just no. doesn't make sense. Mm. He's so young, though. I don't understand, dog. The last thing I was thinking about is suicide when I was their age, bro. Hey, bro. But it happens in your twenties. Mm. In it your twenties. Nah, man. Times have changed. Um, oh, yes. from your generation, yes, yes, compared yes, to yes, there's too much pressure. There's yeah. Fake lifestyle, there's just a lot going on. Compa- nah, compa- social to your, media. Yeah, 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 so. It's a sensory overload. Yo, bro, yeah. niggas are going through a lot, bro. Yeah, people are going through the most, man. And, 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 and as a nigga, you can't say shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. As a nigga, you cry. Look what happened when Tyrese cried, right? He's a meme now. Like, what do you want from me? He's a meme now. Kanye West cried. He's a meme. Will Smith cried is a meme. They say he cries strong as a man. Can't cry, you know? You have to bottle it in and soldier soldier on, man. That's what a man does, um, the way I told. This whole new thing of men don't cry, come on. Cause you, you, so guys can't speak up. 
Men should speak up. Men should speak up. You speak up, men should speak you up. Speak up your they, meme. They, just they, they, they you speak up your meme. Men should create their own community of safety <laughs> where they begin to dismantle the pillars of patriarchy that oppress all of society. <laughs> and ah, then. With the pillars ah, of patriarchy. Ah, 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 now you're no, 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 hold on, hold on, and, and then we can And begin don't forget to get by bit. <laughs> yes, that part. And yeah. then and then we can begin to see men making the active work in society to change themselves within their households, to change themselves towards their partners, their siblings. For the mere fact that you can still have molestation happening in a household means that we can never as a society take men's issues seriously <laughs> because they are such a forceful role and structure in the household that is damaging more than building when you decide as women we are holding each other together because we only have each other to support right each other but as men you need to take that but step. don't you think podcasts and chill embodies that be free but also build within your build I'm not, I'm not saying to chuckle and to laugh and to drink and and to perpetuate things that shouldn't be happening and not calling each other out i'm saying to build and to cry on each other's shoulders and help each other and create economic ties and and co-parent and teach each other important elements of raising a black society so that when you go back to your home you're going to teach your son you're going to teach your daughter you're going to tell her what the language of love is and and how she should be Show. treated and not to stop wearing uh, cheeky shorts at the age of eight or stop going to a certain space or be careful that they don't roof your drink or just be hyper aware is we need to be educating men to protect women so that we don't always have to be on the back foot and alert. But we do that. You do do that, yes, but not enough are doing it. It's oh, like a small okay, percentage okay, and then okay. they're beasts. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Sure. Damn, man. Jeez, <laughs> drop that thing. Drop that thing of yours. Fair point. I agree with everything. You know, fair point. Like, fair point. Hey. <laughs> so teen. Hey. So teen. Wow. But on the real though, not fair point, man. You know. But still though, uh, 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 the reality is, as a much that we can't speak, you know, mm. about the issue we're going through. It's just that's the reality. True. It, whether true, we true, created it true. or not, you know what I mean? And it's that's true. why gents I mean we've got like one of the highest suicide rates in the world, man. Mm. Of men. Is it? Yeah. In yeah. this country. In this country, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. But like she said, it's 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 something a lot of times also the society that we created, like dog. And it's not just, and there's this thing that's just women who are scared of niggas. Niggas are scared of niggas. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, I don't want to walk in town. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm we scared of niggas also. Like, can I, I don't want to just. Can I, can, can I tell you the <laughs> funniest <laughs> thing? Can I tell you the funniest thing? So when we just started, when I just started working with Saul, yeah. I'm dropping him off there by him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What happened? And then I was meant to drop him at the first stop, and I missed it, and I went to the second robot. He's like, yo, dog, you missed the spot, man. Now I gotta run. They're gonna rob me, dog. Yeah, <laughs> and when true. you got out the car, you was right. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. Just up after, after Pretoria Street. Yeah, you gotta run. Hey. You're lucky in the street. Yeah, yeah so we, it's not just, we all don't feel safe, yeah. genuinely, you know, mm. when it comes to the safety thing and, and whatnot, true. you know, and it's something we can all fix. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what else is here, man? R. Kelly sentenced to 30 years in prison. Oh, Jeez. snap, shame, man. Jeez, man. What Who's are the next? charges? Uh, R. Kelly was this week slapped with a 30-year jail term by a female judge in the U.S. for nine counts of sex trafficking and racketeering. racketeering. Yep. Hey, man. He's hey. gone. Ghislaine Maxwell, 20 years as well. Who? Uh, the oh, the one who worked with the, the banker, the rich guy. Uh, what's his name? With the, with the island, bro. The guy with the island. The guy that was charming young girls. Because uh, Lane... Uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Yes, yeah, Epstein. Epstein. Yes, yes. Jeffrey okay, Epstein. that's good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I must say, man, they made their bed, must lay in it. Yeah. yeah. You know, they've come home to roost. You know, it's... Bro, what do you think about Buster, bro? Buster 99 fascinates me. In what way? Everybody knows he's a pedophile, but, like, nothing's happening. Like, he's still gigging. Life is as normal, but we can all see the signs. The red flags are there. What would you wish should happen? Because the thing is, 
right? Till a girl comes out and says, I'm 13 and I slept with this guy, right? That hasn't happened. He's been filmed having a good time with them, which is a red flag, definitely. And it is shady, definitely. But till someone says, this happened to me under in this man's roof, mm. right? Then it's like, and I think that's that, that's the, the the a lot of promoters, the logic they're using. You know what I mean? To say, well, no one has opened any charges, no one is saying anything. It's it's all jokes and whatnot, right? And it is red flags. You can't have kids that young in your bus, in your tour bus. Mm. You can't have, you know. And also, though, you look at the society and ask yourself. It's a society that is still loving his music and still supporting him. Hence, a promoter knows if he books Buster, the venue will be filled. I think it just shows that uh, there's, there's, there's a difference between social media and reality. Always. There's always, always I think always. in reality, people don't give a fuck. Like yeah, the guys said, that book him and whatever. And then on social media, we are the ones who are like in uproar and be like, yo, what's true, going true, on? True. Not even the guys that book him. The guys who attend the gigs to see him and take pictures with him. Mm. Do you get me? The, the fault is not the promoters because the promoters are only trying meeting, to make money, yeah. meeting at demand, yeah. right? Supply and demand. Sure. And the promoters, the supply. Yeah. There's a demand for pasta after everything, pictures and stuff or whatever, allegations, mm. and there's still a demand for him. It's like with us, bro. If they try to cancel us, but there's still 700,000 chillers who want this ish, We'll just turn on the cameras and speak and they will be there to check us out. Let's say we did, we, we, we were accused of committing a crime, mm. right? Accused of committing a crime. It's like with R. Kelly. People are still playing his stuff. Mm. Don't get me wrong. People mm. are still playing R. Kelly's music. Mm. And if you go to a party today, tonight, and they drop Bump and Grind and it's full of 90s kids, it's a jump. Mm. You'll, no one's gonna be like, ah, switch that trash off. Mm. So it's also we need to turn the you know the mirror on ourselves as people, the yeah. society. What you do you know? think? What do you think, Gosley? Um, I think about this, Buster. Uh, this Buster situation, it's difficult to say that the, the the young children must come out. Similar to the Elias situation, when you're in a position of being a beneficiary from a person who has a prominent position in society, it's a power dynamic. Danko. So she has lower power dynamics, but she also she's benefiting. She's going out with her friends. She's getting a stipend from him, possibly. She's getting to travel with him, you know. So. Children are naive and they'll begin to overlook certain things and she'll probably only realize, these child, these young women will probably only realize, girls actually, mm. will only realize that they were being groomed at a later stage. And by then, it'll be a, 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 an Epstein situation where they come out and they're 40 and they're like, oh, this person did this mm, and this surviving and this. And this year, them. it becomes an R. Kelly situation Even again. Even R. Kelly, yeah. Mm. Yes. Much older before they she's, came She's out. subservient, so she's just going along for the joyride it looks cute on instagram her friends are involved she looks cute it's fun vibes until it's not anymore yeah because my thing is like as a society how are we just like just chilling about it like the signs are there bro you can see it's like if you can see someone's going to kill someone are you only going to react once they've killed someone yeah, well, sometimes it's tough bro because what do you do before they kill someone mm. Do you go to them and be like, ah, we saw you. Okay, that's maybe a bad example. We're going to say, we saw you walking around with a dagger. Of course, mm. yeah, that's yeah. dangerous. You can't do that. People can apprehend you and, you know, you can't. But what do we do? Like, what what do we genuinely do? Oh, right? It's crazy, man. Hypothetically, like, say Pastor Vele is rocking these girls who are young and, and, and of an illegal age to have, you know, sex um, with an adult. What do we do? Right? And we think he's going to do it. Mm. He hasn't done it, but we think he's going to do it. Mm. What do we practically do? He hasn't... He, what do we do? That's, hence I said, that's why like, if there can be a case or something, and then it's like, ah, bro, but you're born, 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 the reality mm. is, but hey, we're in there, now we're in there, now we're in there, so, yeah. But till then, what can we do as a society? Oh, it's crazy, man. Hey, where are you bringing out the serious side of us? Hey, it's been a serious show. Hey, where the jokes? Where the pads, dog? You, hey, I've been trying, man. It's you, man. It's you, man. 
<laughs> this pasta one <laughs> called me off card. Now. I'm like, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. going to drag me for hey, food. Pasta man, <laughs> No, I was thinking about it during the week, so I, I just thought I should bring it up. We can take it out if you guys want to take it out, but mm. I just thought I should yeah, bring it up, man. Yeah, but like, what do we, what can we do? You know, mm. yeah. cancel. Like, what can we do in cancel culture? We can counsel him, but only if he says, "Yo, I've got a problem." Yeah, you know what I mean. But what can we do? Mm. What practically, there's nothing, bro. Mm. Sadly, it, it it will have to happen first. Mm. Yeah. You can't imprison someone for trying to do something sure 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 100%. you know what i mean yeah. unless they've done something oh. then you know like attempted murder is when you've tried when you did beat someone up and actually tried to and you're caught trying to oh. but with him or anyone else like him what can you do anyway what else do you want to talk about my dog mm, rest in peace to mush and dicky's dog <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, what that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know when the turkeys arrive. Yeah. All right, guys. This nigga Jimali dog. Dog. You know, man. I, I like it's bro. It's a doggy dog world. <laughs> bro, look, I understand, man. People do get a. You would know. Yeah. Have you ever had a pet? No, 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 I've never. Yeah, but you would know also, you know, because of. Pogtown life. Mm. I understand people get, grow closer to their friends. I, I've got a friend in Umi. Been trying to get a hold of him. We did a song together, trying to get my separates. And then he, he told me, like, yo, my dog passed away. Jeez. It even showed me him, you know, bearing the dog. Mm. But it was just like, because he's got a big yard. It's like a, got like a farmhouse kind of vibe. Yeah. So he was just, he told me, like, Koopa, and said, Koopa, 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 and Zumkoti, Wafaginja, Wafala, and said whatever he said. Mm. It was just him and the older dog. That's it, you know, that I get. But the whole balloon, <laughs> pictures, rest in peace, sugar, and the like, oh, ah, that's levels in China, levels. I wonder what the menu looked like, even. They probably had, because the puppy was cremated, they probably tried hot dog. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> like, what levels is this? What levels is this? Did you see that, bro? I saw that, man. Catering and all. I was not too shot, or like you don't shot, like a proper wedding. Fully. Well, I, I was shot by the celebrities that pitched up. I'm like, what who, the who was there? Who was there? Who was there? Tepi Vundla was there, was not? Was uh, not? Si, si, si Pum, the, the Mshobonen radio presenter, Si Pamandla or something. Yeah. He was the spokesperson. That's the only one I saw. Wow, on the, man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah so but people showed, show, showed up. Also, there's dog insurance now. It might might have the funeral plan paid out. <laughs> oh, oh, Mushe, genius. Also, he, he's oh yes, it's proof of yeah. of a dog. <laughs> 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 oh wait, oh, wait. Well, maybe that's a funeral policy. <laughs> so that money is not even like Mushe's yeah. money. He was just paying like fifty bucks. Ooh. Yeah, uh, you know, insured premiums. Yeah. Oh, flip, actually. Because, I mean, there's, there's pet uh, uh, daycare. Yeah. There's mm. pet hotels now. In, I think in Cape Town or something, there's a dog hotel. You know, you can take... Uh, and the spas crash. as well. A crash. Yeah. So maybe you had a policy. Mm. Do they have but dog food? Buff Bob, eh? Do they have dog food or what? Where? <laughs> How do they have dog food? Uh, what? Uh, to, they eat, to eat. Uh. <laughs> I don't get it, man. Who had dog food? Ghost lady, anything else you want to talk about, man? Nothing more from my side. Yeah, man. No, good to have you, man. Thanks for thank coming. Yeah, thank you, Tommy. Yeah. You're welcome. Did you see, bro? Oranya is now going to be off the grid. Oranya? Yeah. Off the grid, as in uh, they're not going to rely on ESCOM for electricity anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. They Jeez, contributed about ten million rands, like their their community, and they built solar power, whatever it is that they built. They own power. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, now they're system. even supplying other neighborhoods oh. as well. Oh. So, so, so they're the spear, the ones who are spearheading this privatization of load shedding that is soon to be a thing in South Africa. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's mm. big business. I mean, I, I, I couldn't take it anymore, so I went to uh, Macro, where you can get Grand Joe, by the way. Yes. <laughs> Push! <laughs> Push! Rich nigga talk, coming out. Yeah. DJ Smooth taught me well. Just yeah. in case Push. you forgot. <laughs> Push! <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to get a generator. Uh, normally, it's about five grand, but now they're going for ten. 
Of course, bro. Supply so and demand. Is. Yeah. And I got the last one. That's how much like people are buying them now. Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm. Also, you're tired of tra- talking to your son. You're like, shit. <laughs> Nigga, you don't have an interesting <laughs> life after all. What's the electricity? He tried to go to macro. But I was but shocked because like, like, I'm like, because I've been it's struggling bad. with load shedding for the longest time. And I was like, shit, mm-hmm. all it costs was 10K to get yeah. a generator. Literally, mm. and then you put diesel, yeah? Yeah. That's it, bro. That's it, man. Like people, it's so sad. But and also, you know what's sad is the fact that not everybody can. <laughs> so I'm so going to mention this. So you saw, uh, uh, AKA tweeted um, Elon, Elon Musk, Musk like yeah. help us, whatever, 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 mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. And someone was like, "Nigga, you got a Rolex? You don't have a generator." <laughs> <laughs> is that Rolex even real? <laughs> <That's just crazy. laughs> Right, right, right. How much are niggas spending in the clubs every weekend? Ooh. You gotta yeah, get 10K, a generator. Yeah, 10k yeah. is a lot of money, but it's nothing though. Mm. Com- you know, because everybody blows 10k. Sometimes it's not blowing, but on a holiday. You know what I mean? You go on a holiday, flights for you and your partner, a week weekend away, enjoy excursions. How much and come are people back. spending in Durban, July? Durban, July alone, and those very same. You know what I mean? This is how now they I end can't up wait for. And they want royalties years later, and they're complaining. Can't they were irresponsible with the money? Now I can't wait for load shading. Every time I'm like, ah, fuck, I can't wait. <laughs> so I can put imagine some generator. music when it comes on. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's me, niggas. Imagine, jo- though, if we all came together like Orania as Abanda Bamnyama and Uncle. create something like that. We could overthrow so the Thank government you. that's there Thank you and so much. do our own thing. Because so these people easy. think they, we need them. To do stuff, True. bro. We're they, back. Think, they don't think we work. They don't think they're working for us to service us. Mm. Bro, it's what I was government. saying at JJ Tabani's interview: the power of collaboration, the power of coming together, and the power in numbers. We power always had numbers. it, but we don't use it as black people. Yeah. Imagine, I mean, imagine, you know we're black, dog. This is one. You from Soweto? Imagine if everyone in Soweto got together and raised, I don't know, however much Orania did. To be off the grid, they can easily, easily. So it was a billion dollar economy, mm. billion rand. Apologies, e- yeah, economy. Yeah. So yeah. it's easy, it's possible. Yeah, that's the power of collaboration, dog. Yeah, but still, guys, let's not. I mean, the, they must fix XCOM. All these ideas, XCOM now gonna be like, yeah, then now you're fine. No, the they, 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 they don't. They must still you, fix it, though, guys. Let me tell you, the ANC does not want to fix anything from from the youngest MP to the oldest MP no one wants to do anything they want to cripple the system to a point where we have to get up ourselves and outsource and do it ourselves and carry our country build schools fix hospitals generate income they aren't interested in doing anything but embezzling South funds. Africa is probably the only country in the world where the private sector excels more than the public yeah. you can imagine sector mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People are saying that they, 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 because I did, like, I was frustrated. Like, why can't they just, politics aside, I know it's political. You sure? Mm-hmm. Just fix the damn thing. Yeah. You know, and everybody's been saying this, and I've heard this before, and yeah. I agree. They want to cripple it so that it can be privatized. Yes. Right? Let them do it already. I don't think, I know Who someone is gonna, out there is going to say, ah, that's a responsible soul. Mm-hmm. But yo, man, we're going four, six hours without productive Bro. production. Some of us are music producers. We rely on our laptop for almost mm. all our work. Not outside of even music or anything else. But you got an iPhone, not a generator. Yeah? <laughs> for 35K. Oh, I understand. I understand. <laughs> All right. Cash. Nigga, 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 you put an A3 cash. A3 cash. That's because you put... Since we are, since we are doing uh, hey, man. assets, this nigga has been rocking me for a since, month now. I'm for a month now. Since <laughs> brutality, <laughs> nigga just got a fucking <laughs> now now. Hey, hey, turn off the mic. <laughs> and, and so I gotta follow the rules, man. The paycheck comes from there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nigga just got it thing now, dog. Hey, nigga, I st- okay, number one, I stay in an apartment, right? I can't have fucking generators in an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bang on my door like, nigga, already has passed me so when you're having sex. Now it's the generator. Now it's the generator. <laughs> How you know? Yeah. Nigga. Hey, Rocky, Mr. Hey, that's the like, hey, you're Rocky. Okay. <laughs> you're Rocky, well, like, yeah, I'm Rocky back. It starts with you. Oh. Tired, tired of it niggas. It starts with you. Rocking me here. Yeah. yeah, but I'm rocking you back. <laughs> tired of niggas rocking me. How I'm rocking you back. <laughs> Chief. Chief. Yeah, yeah man. Out of here, man. But on the real, though, man, yeah. you know? <laughs> 
I think it's let them just privatize it, man. If so, that's, that's the aim. Yes. Is that the aim? Yeah. Yeah, the aim is to same with SAA. I think to now a, a consortium or whatever sure. conglomerate just bought SAA, like half of it or controlling share. Then they mm. gave it a black name. Sure. What is it called? Sure that is. thing? Fact checker, please check the guys who acquired SAA and stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's the aim, bro. Yeah. And it, it's, then you're right, dog. Because we're suffering, bro. And also, though, to be honest, it's the suppliers. Oh. Um, it's it's called the the Dagatso Consortium. Dagatso. Yeah, their agreement to purchase a fifty one percent stake and inject two hundred and twenty one million dollars into SAA. Ooh, Damn. Damn. Yeah, but it will fix it. No, but you see, that's a controlling stake, so it caters is. won't eat because no, uh, they, they control. You know, yeah. mm. that consortium controls essentially. Then what happens? To and they need to make that money ha- back. How's yeah. it used? Yeah, it's business now. Mm. It's, it's strictly business now. You know what I mean? So even nah, let them take Escom, bro. I'd rather have electricity. Yeah. So hey, you guess you. Hey, you guess you do, you guess. Correct. You guess you do, bro. Yeah, so but they love about in a casino, love to love that do illegal connections as well. Yeah. So all all the all, all the dwellings that pop up sporadically in Johannesburg and all over the place that illegally connect, they are the ones who are also hiking up your bill and hiking up the electricity as well. If we can just streamline things as a country, get proper housing, get proper resources, fuel, everything, just run this thing properly, mm, we'll be fine. Become, yes, dog. True. We'll be fine. Steve Harvey, when he was shooting here, he was like, "What? You pay for electricity?" Yeah. <laughs> are you for real? Yeah, he couldn't understand that. Wait, what? Are you, what is it? Wait. He was shooting that show. What's it called? Family Feud. Family Feud. Family Feud. Yes. So they don't pay for electricity that side. No, they don't, bro. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Am I lying? Let me. Fact checker. Fact checker. Fact checker. Fact checker. Please check. Yeah. Oh, you don't understand load shedding. Oh, they pay for electricity in America. Oh, okay. they, they but, pay for it, but it, it's constantly working. So I remember in and Houston it's last year when they had a snowfall and it blocked their drainage, their power went out. But it doesn't usually go out unless you aren't paying your lights. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they pay, yeah. But I said that. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah. nah, man, it's so frustrating, man. Like, ah, uh, bro, man, I asked you to world class city, you to watch Joburg. Remember, I'm they try to do the whole mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. We're not world class shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> For real, bro, it's not world class to wake up at five, though, five o'clock with no electricity. We'll yeah. It's not world class really. to come back on a Friday, home, we on a Netflix, watch a movie, be warm in winter, there's no electricity. That's not world class. We're a fucking third world country. Bro, you must Maybe go Trump to the. Trump was right. Like, it's so it's disheartening, man. You must All go to the mall yeah? during lockdown. I mean, during load shading, bro, it's like a ghost town, bro. During the day, like, it's just, it's, it's oh, yeah. terrible. It's terrible. Man, like, bro. Like all of us are trying our best, man, you know? We're trying our best with this podcast thing. Yeah. You know, represent South Africa. Everybody's just doing their best in this country, except for the people who are supposed to be frontline doing yes. their fucking best. So yes. everyone can thrive. Yes. It's so disheartening. It's yes. fucking it's fucked up. And we're not saying don't loot, don't have corruption. Everybody eats. Everyone eats, but can we just have electricity? Yeah. Do electricity in an man. orderly fashion. Yeah. <laughs> now we need to ask him on the podcast. We need to bring yeah. Escom on the podcast, man. Mm. Now, now, we really now. need to bring someone from Escom on the podcast. We like, what's do. the problem? Mm. We do. I, st- I still don't know what the problem what? is. What? Do they need more coal? What's happening? They <laughs> don't. What are the problems? The infrastructure is actually, they haven't um, repaired or, or, or built more infrastructure to accommodate the grid since 94. So the current, the, the current, the, 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 the current they, infrastructure that exists plants is, no, the plants that exist now and are, are just, or no, the, the plants that exist now, the infrastructure that exists now is, was to accommodate a small percentage, the minority, right? Yeah, yeah. So there were nuclear issues and deals between about, let's say, 97 and 2004. So the Mbeki, Zuma era, Mandela era, if you look up on the nuclear power issues. So that's why the infrastructure hasn't been improved. So our population is growing and our infrastructure is not being maintained first and foremost and is not being further industrialized, which is another issue. And now people want to introduce the 24-hour day in Johannesburg. How are we going to function with that? Stop with that nonsense. So um, so, so they, 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 they... There's an idea to introduce a 24-hour working day in Johannesburg, which is absolutely ridiculous with our crime rate. What do you mean? 
is it's a twenty four hour cycle. Like a person who works at a fast food restaurant, like a McDonald's. So less traffic. So and stuff. like the Americans, Americans have twenty four hour work days, right? Yeah. Like Amazon, so you can start your job at Amazon for about six hours and then you move to your job at McDonald's for another five hours and then you can move to your job elsewhere mm. doing Uber mm. and that's a 12 hour si- a 24 mm. hour so cycle so people can drive to their office job yeah so PM. it's 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 Jeez. having the system the economy running 24-7 but we can't do that without lights bruh yeah electricity is so basic without like resources as well without <laughs> mobility without industrialization it's absolutely ridiculous then there's crime right but that we've got too. a 20 million flag 22 million. That lights up at night. <laughs> Without <laughs> electricity. <laughs> Power of mir- miracles. How does it light up if there's no electricity? And our president has 60 million. What, what? In his our mattress. president keeps 60 million on his mattress. Oh. Can, he, can he take that to fix ESCOM at least? No, he's eating. Ah. Oh, daddy, he's oh, eating. Hey, what happened to the Eatles? Oh. Uh, everyone said, fuck it. We're not paying that no one. No one paid that. I thing. never paid it. I saw all the letters. What happened to the 5G... Conspiracy. Oh, that 5G is the COVID one. <laughs> ah, man, we're fine now. <laughs> <laughs> we, didn't vac- we didn't vaccinate. Yeah. Yeah. Am I and, fine? We're and good. Did, you, did you see that the, the, the courts have now um, approved dropping the mask mandate? So the Labour Court has recently, I think as of Friday, um, written into law that there is no longer ma- a mask mandate in the office when people have jobs. Oh, vaccination, sorry, not mask, a vaccination mandate. So you don't have to get your jab to go and work at Podcast and Chill or go and work at Rant Merchant. Yeah, so there's a, there's a guy who took uh, one of the companies to CCMA and he won good, the case. Good, good, good. He won the good, case because they forced him to vaccinate. Now I it's regret Yeah, that thing, this is absurd, man. Just big regrets. <laughs> Can't force people to put stuff in their bodies. Mm. You know, it's, it's, it's since when? You know, there have been many vaccines before. People were never forced to take them. So yeah, that was absurd from the jump. A uh, couple of announcements I gotta make, man. Oh, you cannot get uh, the podcast intro as a welcome tone oh, if you're no. on Vodacom. Yeah, uh, just dial star one one seven star nine eight seven star eight zero hash. Wait, which one? The on one? Vodacom. Yeah, but Ooh. the one with the hey, Hinda. I'm going to put the John Carney later. Oh, dope. Yeah, you can get the Enda and the podcast intro song. Oh, the instrumental. Yeah. Oh, dope. Via Voltex. Yeah, yeah. Voltex, dope, yeah. Dope, dope. So if you're a chiller, make sure you dial star 117 star 987 star 80 hash. Also, we're going to be in Manchester on the 15th of July, London on the 16th of July, Birmingham on the 17th of July Yeah. for our UK tour. Looking forward to that. First time out there. Uh, just visit Pi Radio. Check out the website for tickets. Yes. And we'll put the link in the description below. Uh, Botswana, 7th of August. I mentioned that. Anything else that I'm missing out? Yeah, well, we're going to have a guest because uh, uh, we're going to do a podcast as well in the UK. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so yes, yes. A surprise guest. So there's a couple of artists that are going to be from South Africa. We're going to be that side, including Casper. <laughs> so the Pi Radio guys are like, yeah, yeah. We're gonna, they're like, yo, guys, we're going to try to get Casper. Yeah? <laughs> we're going to try to get Casper to be a guest on your show, right? We keep quiet. Hey, a few days later, they're like, oh, what you do to Casper? <laughs> <laughs> what you do to Casper? <laughs> you don't want you, you don't want to come on the podcast. <laughs> His camp said, no ways. No fucking ways. Casper. <laughs> hey, 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 we out of here. This has been 702 and chill. Marzelli Todd. Marzelli Todd. Marzelli Todd. What does he say, Bongani? Marzelli Todd. Marzelli Todd. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo even if when they ask you, how sabiin, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.